Today we are doing a monorail crawl, but this monorail crawl is gonna look different than most because this is a monorail food crawl. We're gonna be taking the monorail around to all the different stops and getting off to try food along the way. So let's go eat. Our first stop is gonna be right here at Disney's Contemporary Resort where we are gonna be hitting up the Steakhouse 71 Lounge for some appetizers. And of course, I can't be eating all this food alone. My brother is here to join me and he's ignoring me. This is the first time I think that I've ever beat you to a place. Yes, actually. <laughs> you're always there before I was just me. running a little behind. You're, you're late, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But he's gonna be making a vlog too. I'll put the link I'm in sorry. the description for the love of vlogging. Something's talking to you in your My pocket. My watch was talking to me. Okay, yeah, let's go eat. So we just made our way into the Steakhouse 71 Lounge and I forgot that it was a Sunday. So it's actually pretty busy. Ryan and I got some of the last two seats at the bar and uh, yeah, we're ready for some appetizers. Although I will say it is taking everything in me not to order the stack burger from here. The stack burger here at Steakhouse 71 is one of my favorite burgers of all time. I actually think it is my favorite burger that I've ever had. It is just so good, but I wanna save that. I wanna do a video of Steakhouse 71 one on its own so not gonna get it we're just gonna stick with an app here they have a bunch of things to choose from crab cakes loaded macaroni and cheese onion rings peanut butter and jelly chicken wings those sound really interesting the burger of course and they have a shrimp cocktail and bacon and eggs that's another high contender for me the bacon and eggs appetizer here is really really delicious so I don't know it's gonna be a hard decision so Ryan decided to go with the onion rings I decided to go with the PB and J chicken wings these have a sweet peanut glaze and jelly powder on them. You can see that jelly powder on top. I'm not sure if it'll show up in the video, but it actually looks really awesome. And these look so much better than the peanut butter and jelly wings they serve over in Epcot in the brewing uh, kind of food booth for Food and Wine Festival. Those ones are just like sog a soggy mess. These actually look crispy, a good amount of sauce, and they look like they're gonna be have a lot better flavor than those ones in Epcot. Let's get into these wings. I'm trying to find one with a, that's a drum, not a flat. I'm a, I'm a drum fan, oh, but I'll, I'll take this one, it's okay. It's so hot, oh my God. Usually we take a while to film these things, so when we get eat the food, it's like not actually that hot anymore, but this is burning my fingers. It's scorching hot. Peanut butter and jelly wing, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. They're definitely crispy, which I enjoy. However, I feel like they just coated a wing in creamy peanut butter and freaked me out a little. I wish there was like less of a peanut butter flavor, but I ordered peanut butter and jelly wings, so I mean, I, I just wasn't expecting that much in your face peanut butter, I guess. I was expecting like a little hint should have expected it because peanut butter and jelly wings but yeah this is like I'm eating a wing coated in creamy peanut butter so it's a little weird the wing itself is really good though very crispy I was not expecting it to be that crispy but if you like peanut butter I mean I'm gonna get them I guess Ryan what did you get here at Steakhouse 71 I had to go with the Steakhouse 71 onion rings, which are like futuristic. I don't know if you see this holder. It literally looks like it's like Wendy's uh, fries holder from like three, the year 3000 because it's Tomorrowland themes and a lot of Steakhouse 71 because Walt loved Tomorrowland so much and they're, they're gonna be good. They're really, they're thick, thick boys. Look at those thick, thick rings. Let's go for one of these onion rings now. Now I have had the onion rings here before. They're very good. I also really enjoy the French onion soup from here. They have it, they serve it in the restaurant. I don't think they serve it at the lounge here. Um, but yeah, these onion rings are always good. Very crunchy. ASM, onion ring ASMR, right? It's a solid onion ring. If you're looking for a good onion ring at Disney World, come to Steakhouse 71 and grab yourself these. I also would have to say, you know what these would go fantastic with? No, don't the burger. We, we don't have we don't have time for the burger. I know, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Don't worry. So Ryan is enjoying the peanut butter and jelly wing, and he actually likes it. You didn't like it? I did not like it. 
I eat peanut butter with every single meal. It is like, I'm talking about like the food pyramid from like, you know. Oh my gosh. 2005, my, my half of my pyramid, cut right down the middle, is just peanut butter products. Whether it be peanut butter Oreos or peanut butter. So are these better than the ones at Epcot? The peanut butter and jelly wings at Epcot? The ones that have got are kind of dry. Yeah, the peanut butter does dry it out a little bit here. But like, the ones that have got just taste like they were like, like a pro, pre frozen. Like yeah, these, these definitely look more gourmet, that's for wait, sure. Wait. <laughs> well, the onion rings were a hit. The wings, not so much for me. I, I just don't think I could get behind the peanut butter wings. But if you, if you like that kind of thing, I'd say they're pretty good. Brian will agree. We are off to the Polynesia next to try. Food in Poly, the first of many monorail rides today. We're heading to the Polynesian. Ryan is wearing his Polynesian theme of uh, Roosevelt's shirt. I know, I got, I'm plugging my uh, LBVT here. Like the queen, cars, <laughs> look at the description. But I love cars. Actually, cars is like, well, I think cars is my second favorite Disney movie. Frozen 2 is my favorite Disney movie. Cars is number two. Yeah, you love Cars too, probably. No, I like the regular original Cars. What about you? You don't like Cars? I drive it on. Big Cars hater over here? Listen, Cars 2 is in my nightmares every single night. Not kidding. I'll explain the story at some point. Okay, Cars 2 is definitely not the best. I agree. Right, what is your favorite Disney movie? Favorite Disney movie? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> Stop, don't cancel me for wearing a Ninja Turtles shirt to Disney. Um, I don't know, Hercules, Tarzan. I can't watch it past the first 15 minutes though. I'll cry, I'll just bawl my eyes out every time. Yeah, well, our mom raised us good. We have made it to the Polynesian and that sweet, sweet Polynesian smell has entered my nostrils. It really smells so good in here, guys. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready for our entree round of the monorail crawl. I think we're gonna be hitting up Captain Cook's, which is the quick service here at the Poly. And uh, we're gonna be getting some Thai meatballs. Yum. Captain Cook's here at the Poly has some really amazing food. They have like the normal quick service stuff, like a burger, chicken tenders. Then they also have some very unique dishes to this resort. They have a noodle dish. They also have pulled pork nachos that I know are very popular. Uh, a new recent menu addition that I realized today is they have like a Korean fried chicken bowl, which looked really good. It tempted me away from my usual, which is the Thai coconut meatballs. I did still stick with those meatballs, but I want to come back and try that chicken. Um, but yeah, the Thai coconut meatballs here are amazing. Ryan is telling me he's these meatballs, first of all, look disgusting, and he's never heard of them. So Kristen does this thing where she's like, this is the most popular thing. In this all is. Of, and it's like, or like, I just tried this viral snack. I'm like, I've never heard of it. I've never tasted it. Ryan. That. You have to be joking. These meatballs look at them. are. Look at them right now. Camera, look at them while I'm talking, okay? Look at that. Does that look appetizing? It looks like like meatballs and great. It looks like Thanksgiving. Not I'm not like... saying it looks appetizing, but they're great and they're the most popular dish here. Have you heard of this? Let Kristen know in the comments. Please down comment, below. guys. I need I need backup. I need backup here. If you're a Thai coconut meatball stand, I, I need some backup. These are the Thai coconut meatballs. They're house made all beef chili garlic meatballs cooked in a coconut cream sauce served over white rice. Are you recording? They're ready to go. There's a bird. I'm looking at my meatballs. Well, let's eat these meatballs. They're so delicious. They're sweet. They're savory. The sauce is just so good. It's like a creamy coconut sauce. And then the meatballs, look at that meatball. I wish there were even more green onions. I love green onions, but when that sauce gets in with the rice that's on the bottom, this is a great dish that Brian is missing out on and has been missing out on his whole life. How long has this been here? These meatballs have been on the menu forever. Really? I feel like they've been on the menu for a very long time. I, how, do you, how do you just not see them? Did you get these when we were younger? I don't remember. I used to get these as a child all the time with you when we used to come with our family on our family vacation. When we were both children. When we were both children here together. <laughs> Brother and sister. I am warming up to this dish a little bit now that I'm seeing what it looks like. 
and I will say if it had noodles like Ohana noodles, like the like, what is it? That's not angel hair. Like lo mein. Like lo mein type noodles, but just plain with all of this, I would, I would, I would be willing. To I try. will admit the sauce, the sauce kind of throws throws this dish off. It doesn't look the best because the sauce doesn't look good. It tastes good. I will say on this one in particular, they put maybe like a little too much sauce. I would have preferred less, but still nonetheless, it is very good. I want you to try it, Ryan. Fine. Just try the sauce. Try fine, the sauce. Fine. Got you a fork right there. Just, just try the sauce? Well, you could try the meatball too, but if you want to just try the sauce. <laughs> a little bit of the sauce. I'm going to try a meatball. Try that meatball. I can't. You got this. I believe in you. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Ryan's first bite of a Polynesian ball. Oh, no. No? It's fine. It's a little adventurous for you. The sauce is definitely like a, like a it's got yogurt in it or something. It's a yogurt based stuff. It might. I don't know. Yeah. I got no clue what's in it, but it's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm done up here. I, I... You better drink some water. What a beautiful day to be enjoying some meatballs here at the Poly. I was just taking in the amazing view that I'm just sitting here eating lunch, looking at, and the weather is so perfect in Orlando right now. I wish it would stay like this all year round, but unfortunately it won't. And unfortunately we are on to the next stop, which is gonna be Magic Kingdom. We're going to get some dessert. There's one thing about me. If there's an elevator, I'm gonna take it. I am gonna take it. Taking We're taking the I'm taking the elevator. How are the stairs? Tiring. <laughs> oh, Should have taken the elevator. No, no. no <laughs> Let's no. go to MK. Oh, monorail's here. Let's go. Here we are in Magic Kingdom. We took the long, long trek over here. Um, and yeah, we're gonna hit up the spot to get some dessert. We got our appetizer, we got our entree. Now we are on to our dessert. And I'm gonna get something that I really love here that I've never shown on this channel before. And it's actually been a, quite a while since I've gotten it. So I'm excited to have it today. And of course, I am talking about the tropical serenade flow over here in Adventureland at Aloha Isle. Aloha Isle is actually where they serve Dole Whips here in Magic Kingdom. And I cannot tell you if, I, if I've ever seen this line, this not existed before. Usually the line wraps all around in here, comes on back and wraps around again. Uh, but yeah, no line today, so perfect time to get a little Dole Whip treat. So the Tropical Serenade Flu, I think is one of, if not the best dessert here in Magic Kingdom. It's coconut Dole Whip and then it's in a float. So the float, the juice part is hog juice, passion orange guava juice, served with a little pineapple cake pop. The combo of the coconut with the pog juice is just amazing. Let's get in there. Now, I don't love coconut flavor. But the coconut Dole Whip is just so light and so refreshing. It's not too coconutty. It, it, it tastes almost like vanilla with just like a hint of coconut, which I love. Mix it with that pog juice. I mean, <coughs> pog juice in anything is amazing. But just like any Dole Whip treat, this is melting fast, so we gotta eat it fast. Ryan loves him some pog juice, I know, because we've been to many a breakfast together, but he's never tried the Tropical Serenade Float, but how did you get yours? I got mine, instead of coconut ice cream, I got vanilla. And I think they, they let you like change it out to whatever soft serve they have. Yeah. Don't ask for like cookies and cream, because they won't have that. But yeah. you can't swap it out. Raspberry, pineapple. Oh, I bet pineapple would be good in here too. Probably, that would be, that'd be a go-to for sure. One of the reasons that I haven't gotten this in so long is because they took mobile ordering away from Aloha Isle. So you can no longer mobile order Dole Whips. And I just refuse to wait in lines, as you probably know, especially in line for a frozen treat that is going to uh, melt in five seconds. But yeah, if you can wait in line, it's delicious. I almost went for the Nutella fruit waffle. If, I, if the line at here was too long, I was planning on going over to Sleepy Hollow to get that Nutella fruit waffle. But I figured since I haven't showed this before, I wanted to get it, and it's it's definitely one of the best sweet treats here in Magic Kingdom. Just like that, we're making our way out of MK. It is a party night, so it closes early. And we're heading to our final stop. I think we're gonna grab a little beverage at the Grand Flow. No, not me, not me, you. All right, we may or may not have taken the boat over to the Grand Floridian for Magic Kingdom. We have good reason, we have good reason. So it's the monorail and boat bar crawl, but mainly monorail. 
We took the boat because the line to get on the monorail since the Halloween party is starting is crazy. There were a ton of people waiting and we would have had to go four stops before getting here. So we're like, you know what? We'll just, we'll just cheat a little and we'll take the boat. But still the monorail crawl. We gotta get a beverage. We're getting a, ending with a beverage over at the Enchanted Rose, one of my favorite bars here at Disney World. They have one of my favorite beverages too. Let's go get it. We have made it over to the Enchanted Rose. This is the little bar here in the lobby area. It's on the second floor. It's a very fancy one. We opted for a table kind of outside the lounge. They have some really fancy, nice tables inside as well. And uh, yeah, we ordered ourselves a little beverage. Ryan, Ryan, what's going on over here? I'm starving, okay? I didn't eat lunch. <laughs> All I had was two wings and three onion rings, which is a lot. But and he's eating churro toffee. I'm eating churro toffee. Thanks, sister. I brought Ryan a piece of churro toffee for my trip to Disneyland. And look, it came in handy. <laughs> the Enchanted Rose actually has one of my favorite espresso martinis at Disney World. I always get it here. It's my go-to beverage at this lounge. And when I ordered it, our server asked me if I wanted it the normal way that it comes or if I want it her way, which is with chocolate liqueur. And I was like, you know what? Let's try something different. So I got it her way with the Mozart chocolate liqueur. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out. It'll be a little bit chocolate, more chocolatey than usual. I feel like I should sip it through this fake chocolate straw, huh? Ryan, is this a straw? That's not or a straw. Or just a garnish? <laughs> I'm kidding. Try it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wonder if I could though sip through it. That is good. That is too good. I could just sip that right down in one sip, honestly. Ooh. The, I, the espresso martinis here are just, they hit different, especially when you have the view that I currently have. Sip an espresso martini. Like, what a way to end our monorail food crawl. That espresso martini was exactly what I needed. We're getting ready to head out. We have a long night ahead of us at Halloween Horror Nights, but I am gonna leave you guys here at the Grand Floridian. Our final monorail of the evening, monorail orange. Let's get on. While we're on the monorail, I wanna give a shout out to everyone who's joined my Patreon, Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Kara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John Paul, Leah, Tracy, Loco, Armando, the Latham Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Daniela, Marcel, and Erica, thank you guys so much. And what better place to end the monorail food crawl than on the monorail itself? I feel like we took monorail coral around every time, except this time we're on orange, so we changed it up for the end here. And yeah, this was a really fun video to make. I had a good time exploring the resorts, you know, eating at the monorail resorts, going into Magic Kingdom. And yeah, great time had. I'll see you guys next time.